Good afternoon, my fellow freedom fighters of the world, sons and daughters of liberty, knights of freedom. Welcome to a great day of walking on the warpath for our brave soldiers who have fought and died for our freedoms since the beginning of this great country that we call the United States of America. And after today's great 10 mile march on the Route 119 warpath, I'm going to be at 9,000 miles, my friends. I did it. 9,000 miles in six years. Woo! Yeah! I'm so psyched, so pumped up. And I knew I, on the way, to walk today I had all kinds of ideas on where I was going to do this final 10 miles but it's just fitting that I start where I started I mean finish the 9,000 miles where I started finishing almost all my 9,000 miles I have to look back I actually believe I finished every 500 miles Actually, I had to finish this 500 miles where I finished most of my 500 miles. And I do believe I might have finished every 500 mile hike on this great war path. I was born and raised here in southwestern Pennsylvania in actually a little town called Dawson. And uh, I, uh, I love it here. I never wanted to move actually away from this area, but I found Greene County and by what you see from the Iroquois Warpath, it's just as beautiful as this. So all of southwestern Pennsylvania is a beautiful place along with West Virginia, but the title of this as always, this isn't going to have a blog, but there, there will always be blogs underneath every video you find of mine so go check out my website when you're done watching this but uh speaking of green county the, re the reason the title of this video came up i was talking to my daughter today on the way to do this great finished my nine thousand miles in six years my friends nine thousand miles woo for freedom <laughs> i love it but anyways <laughs> Um, the past four or five, maybe probably three to four walks I've had on the Iroquois Warpath down, down in Greene County, I found feathers. And like I said, I call this the Warpath because of my research for Native American history. This great country was founded because of the Native Americans. We took their great spirit of freedom and like a like a torch we lit the world the American founding fathers did for freedom so I really uh, love doing Native American research and a lot of what I've done is just copying what the Native Americans did too so like I said I call this the war path and every time I would find a feather out on the trail anywhere, I always find feathers every once in a while. I think of it as the, as the Native American's great spirit awarding me uh, an achievement. So the last three or four times, I found, all the, I found all these feathers leading up to the finish line of my 9,000 mile accomplishment. And I... I, my message, I guess, I take it from the, the great spirit from up above. The great spirit is that I am now a chief on the warpath for freedom. And I walk proudly. And I will never stop walking with old glory in my hand and, and my boots. <laughs> My, that's my 28 pair of boots. I will have. I will be on my 29 pair of boots really soon. And the next hike I take, the next time I walk, it will be with a new flag. So this is the last time you'll see flag 18 
flag number 18 will go to rest and flag 19 will start out on another great 500 mile war path to honor the greatest patriots of this country the bravest and greatest patriots that we have our veterans and our soldiers i'm walking the trail of honor my friends three miles for every soldier lost in this war until next video keep fighting for freedom keep passing my videos to your friends and keep passing my blogs to your friends the freedom of speech is the most powerful weapon we have my friends with the sword of truth walk out into the streets of america with the sword of truth that 9-11 was an inside job and this government is the real terrorist we cannot let them say that air, we cannot rape, let them rape us at airports anymore and they, they have to, and, they're, and they're and their saying is if we don't rape you the terrorists win no the terrorists are in washington dc wake up the Russian best not soldiers are here. All the blogs, like I said, go to the bottom of this video. Click on all my blogs down there. There'll be information on the Russian best not troops being here and 9-11 and whatever else I feel will be great for you to help you wake up your friends, my friends, because we are living in the times that try men's souls once again. And the blueprint for success against any tyrannical power is what the founding fathers of this great country did. They took the fire of the Native American people and they caught the world on fire. It's time for you American patriots to get off your ass and, <laughs> excuse me, and light the world with the torch of freedom. See you in the next video.